All right, everybody. Uh, going to take a break from the circus theme stuff. I'm even getting over it. <laughs> clown after clown after clown. Um, so, got this from Home Depot this year. It's the new cauldron. Um, got the one last year uh, just by happenstance. They were sold out like crazy um, and went into a Lowe's store and they actually had one. I snatched it up and I wish I'd have snatched two. Um, so very happy that they came back with this one this year. Um, you know, yeah, you can make them, but I don't think you can make them for much less than what you got here and you're saving all that time. And I'm not handy. So if you want to make your own cauldron, yes, they can look neater. They might look a little bit more realistic, but for the money and the way these things look, you can't beat it in my opinion. All right, so here's the box. Um, not, not too horribly a big box and you know I don't I don't, I don't uh, there's a representation of how big it is to a person um, you know I don't think it's like spirit where everybody has a wig out about their box but just to show you there you go so anyway um, this if I remember correctly from last year is an easy peasy build um, Directions look easy peasy. You have your your uh, differences. Last year there were skulls hanging off the top here. This year they have uh, what's supposed to be eating instruments, utensils made out of bone. Um, and, the, and the other main thing uh, I've already unboxed. It comes, this has the box inside of it and your fake bubbles and your tripod the top of the tripod um, is all down inside the cauldron so you just lift the cauldron out um, and there's a box in there with your power cord your utensils um, your stakes to stake it down and if you're going to put your cauldron out in the yard which this is new they didn't have these last year which is kind of neat uh, you put your end of your tripods in here and that's how you stick them down, which that's pretty cool that they supplied that. A little, little added little thing for them. Uh, sorry about the other thing. I went by uh, <laughs> went by the dollar store this morning. Um, they have these gigantuan things for like three bucks. I'm um, going to hang those on the house. And anyway, so excuse the mess behind it. So anyway, so the other difference, back to what I was saying, um, the bubble over stuff is purple this year, where it was a green last year. Um, last year it had embers for the base. This year it has wood. I'm thinking um, the other thing is last year you couldn't, I'm pretty sure you couldn't turn the, the sound off and just have your lights which this year I think you can. I, I know you can, or at least that's what I heard. We will find out. All right, this shouldn't take but a second to put together. You have your B poles and your E poles, and they all fit into the top of the tripod. So I'm going to take a break real quick and uh, get this thing together for you, and we'll see what how it looks. All right, everybody, there she is. Um, I couldn't tell you. How e I mean, this is so easy, I can't even tell you, is what I'm trying to say. Um, if you've watched my videos, um, you know I can screw up a build in a heartbeat. <laughs> and this was easy peasy. Um, you got a B pole, a middle E pole, and then another B pole. And they all have little notches, and you slide them in and twist them to lock. And that makes one side of your tripod, B, E, B. You do that three times for your legs. This piece is on one piece I already put together. You slide them in there, easy peasy. You just push these into here and they hang off. Your uh, cauldron's already put together. All you gotta do is put the lid back on. A uh, little note about the lid, it, it fits pretty perfect on there so put it on there before you attach the chains otherwise you got to kind of turn it sideways and you know turn twist kind of scrape it down the 
scrape it down the edge. So, all right, you got these little uh, cutouts here for your purple lights to come through. Get you a nice look at this flame. And yeah, like I said, guys, I know you can make, I've watched it with the foam and you put the lights in the foam and you put the sticks and the twigs and it looks really good and it looks really real. And I like scary. I'm not a kid-friendly Halloween person. I like scary. I like, you know, macabre, whatever you want to say it. I do not like gory. I do not like bloody. Um, but this adds a bit of color and whimsy to like a scary, warty, gross-looking figure witch standing beside it. I mean, it just... I don't know. I just like it. I like them. I'm glad I got the green one. I'm glad I got the purple one. I uh, hope they don't come out with another one because I'll probably buy it again because uh, witch theme is another thing that I have chosen to stick with. Witch, graveyard, and apparently circus. Uh, so anyway, there you have it. I think it's 80 bucks at Home Depot. I think they're sold out like everything else at Home Depot and back ordered like everything else at Home Depot. Um, so I don't know if you can still get on the back order list, but check your stores. That's how I got mine last year. Um, and actually had the opportunity to buy another one and didn't and regretted it. So I'm glad I got this one this year. Uh, definitely, definitely um, a good pickup. Uh, and on my cauldron scale from... 10 cauldrons down to one cauldron. Um, this is a solid dime. It's a solid dime. I mean, for what it is, easy, looks good, sounds good. And oh, by the way, speaking of sound, if you don't like which, what people say are the cheesy clicking, sounds like popcorn. I mean, let me give you a listen. Okay. I don't mind it. I think it's cool. But if you don't like it, Inside, which by the way is where all your uh, your on switches are, it's just the on a try me, which it does not come with the try me button, or you know, or step pad or whatever. Um, so on try me and only lights, so you can only have it lit up if if you prefer that and not have the the crackling noise. So anyway, um, there you have it. Nine out of ten cauldrons on the cauldron. And uh, I will get back to, uh, let's see, I still got to get it. The Wacky Mole, the newer Wacky Mole for someone put together, and Uncle Charlie, and some clown stuff. So I will be getting back with you shortly. Alrighty, stay bubbly. Catch you next video.